We're working at the cutting edge of machine learning with techniques that just weren't possible a few years ago. It excites our smartest people and has this habit of seeping out of their day job and into their hobbies and interests. We're fascinated by the infinite variability of music and wondered if we could develop human-like judgment, almost an appreciation of live playing. The challenge was set, build a machine learning system that could correctly classify musical styles in real time. So we took the challenge back to our digital greenhouse and this is a place our data scientists and engineers meet and develop cutting edge machine learning technology. Um, we built it out of cutting edge compute which we sweat extremely hard looking for the best strains, variants of models and algorithms. The more of these we can look for the more likely we are to find a solution to really difficult problems. No one had done this before, this was a brand new thing. No one had actually performed this type of real-time analysis. So we quite quickly realised that just because of the live nature of this, we couldn't use existing cloud services and other people's software that run elsewhere because being far away just meant it was too slow. We actually had to have it raw right next to the piano. For the aficionado, we chose one of about 400 models we developed in the digital greenhouse. Uh, so the model that we went for in the end was a combination of uh, RNNs and uh, CNN as well. So um, RNNs are recurrent neural networks. The particular type that we used is called an LSTM, so it's a long short-term memory. They are uh, particularly good at dealing with sequences of data, looking at complex inputs and finding relationships over time. We fed the machine lots of dirty data, old scratched records, and practice sessions from our colleagues and their loved ones with barking dogs and crying babies and other noise. A problem with this kind of system is that it will try and learn the easiest route to getting your answer, which is why we stopped it learning the music. We wanted to actually understand the music instead. As DSB developers, we'd sit down and write software to solve this problem by hand. That's a classic way of doing it. We wanted to see if AI could beat that. So we got a bunch of our algorithm experts and asked them to address the same challenge to write some software that did the same as the machine learning. It actually turned out that that rival approach was much less accurate in picking out the musical influence. And the aficionado, it just works. It recognises the music it's hearing with incredible accuracy. Here, it knows it's listening to classical music. The abilities of the aficionado amazed us all. We created the aficionado for fun and it's complete now. The team was thrilled with the final result. It did better than we ever imagined. The aficionado was a great project to have worked on, working on really advanced AI. And all the stuff that we learned from that, the stuff around the edge, the actual nature of the machine learning itself, is currently being fed straight back into projects we're working on now. <laughs>